So you're thinking of moving to Las Vegas, Nevada? And you wanna purchase a new construction home? Are you sure? There are a number of items to consider on whether purchasing a new construction home is truly worth it. In this video, we're gonna discuss and address eight reasons why you should walk away from a new construction home deal. And towards the end of this video, I will share with you the most important one. So let's get after it right now. Hi, my name is Mark Pepe. If this is your first time to the channel, make sure you subscribe below and tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to learn about the current market here in Las Vegas with so much evolving almost daily. We are passionate about removing the stress of relocating to a completely new city and state. If you're thinking about making that move, whether it be nine days or nine months, feel free to give us a call Choose a text or send us an email. All of that information is in the description below. Purchasing a new construction home can be an exciting opportunity, offering the promise of a modern, energy efficient space tailored to your specific needs and wants with all the bells and whistles. However, not every new construction deal is worth pursuing. Various red flags, financial pitfalls, and structural concerns can turn what seems like a dream home into an absolute nightmare. Knowing when to walk away from a new construction home deal is crucial to avoiding significant financial and emotional stress. So here are eight key factors to consider when deciding whether to back out of a new construction home purchase. Number one is unfavorable contract terms. Let's start with ambiguous or one-sided contracts. One of the first red flags in any new construction deal is the contract. If the terms seem overly favorable to the builder and there's little room for negotiation, it may seem to be wise to reconsider. Contracts that are vague or ambiguous can leave you vulnerable to unexpected costs or obligations. A contract that does not specify completion dates, penalties for delays, or details about finishes and materials may result in you receiving a home that is significantly different from what you envisioned. Then there is high deposit requirements. Excessive deposit requirements are another sign that you should be very cautious of. While a deposit in the five to 10% range is standard in real estate transactions, a builder demanding a non-refundable deposit that is disproportionately high compared to industry norms can be a cause for concern. This could indicate financial instability on the part of a builder or an attempt to lock you into an unfavorable deal. Then there's a lack of warranties. Builders typically offer a one-year warranty covering various aspects of a new construction home, including structural elements and systems like plumbing and electrical. Also, and if a builder is unwilling to provide adequate warranties or is vague about the warranty terms, that is a significant red flag. Warranties are your protection against defects and poor workmanship. Their absence suggests potential future headaches. Number two is builder's reputation and track record. The reputation of a builder is paramount when purchasing a new construction home. A history of poor reviews, unresolved complaints, and legal issues should prompt you to reconsider. Take the time to research a builder's past projects and speak with previous clients. Builders with a track record of delays, cost overruns, or substandard construction practices are likely to repeat these issues in the future. A builder's financial health is another critical factor. If a builder has a history of bankruptcies, liens, or financial instability, they might not be able to complete your home to the required standards, standards or within the promised time frame. Financial troubles can also lead to inferior construction materials being used, which may compromise the long-term durability of the home. Then there's unlicensed or uninsured builder. 
Working with an unlicensed or uninsured builder can be a significant risk, and I highly recommend you run the other direction. Licenses ensure that the builder has met certain standards and qualifications, while insurance protects you against potential liabilities during the construction phase. If a builder cannot provide proof of licenses and insurance, again, walking away is definitely the best course of action. Number three is construction quality concerns. During your walkthroughs, if you notice visible defects, such as cracks, uneven flooring, or signs of water damage, this could be an indication of larger underlying issues. Superficial problems can sometimes be a sign of poor construction practices that may lead to more significant structural issues over time. Use of subpar materials. If the builder is using low quality materials or cutting corners to save costs, this should raise immediate concerns. Low grade materials can cause or result in a home that may not stand the test of time, leading to frequent repairs and decreased resale value. So be weary of builders who cannot provide detailed information about the materials they use or refuse to allow independent inspections. Frequent delays in the construction schedule can also be a sign of deeper issues such as poor project management, financial problems, or supply chain disruptions, which we experience a lot of during COVID. Persistent delays can lead to increased costs and uncertainty about the completion date of your new home. If construction is significantly, significantly behind schedule with no reasonable explanation, it may be best to walk away. Although it won't be easy because of the large amount of time builders typically allow for construction. They always err on the side of caution when it comes to the length they have to finish your new home. Number four is financial and budgetary concerns. Let's begin with unexpected cost overruns. If the builder is consistently increasing costs without clear justification, or if you find that the price of the home is significantly higher than initially quoted, you may need to reconsider the deal altogether. These unexpected ex expenses can quickly push your budget beyond its limits. Then there is high HOA fees and special assessments. Homeowners association fees are standard in many new developments, but unusually high fees or assessments can be a red flag. High ongoing costs can make a home unaffordable in the long term. Most new Las Vegas communities do charge a SID or a LID semi-annually to help cover the cost of the infrastructure for the new community. The cost varies depending on the price of the home. Also, if you encounter difficulty securing financing for the home, either due to issues with the builder's preferred lender or because of the terms of the loan, it might be a sign to walk away. Financing problems can indicate broader issues with the project's viability or the builder's financial health. Number five is legal and regulatory issues. Legal issues such as zoning disputes or permitting problems can delay construction or lead to costly modifications. If the builder has not secured the necessary permits or if there are unresolved zoning issues, it's a significant red flag. These legal issues can result in construction delays, increased costs, and even legal liabilities. You will also want to ensure the builder complies with local building codes and regulations. Non-compliance can result in unsafe living conditions and costly corrections. If you discover that the builder has a history of code violations or if there are other discrepancies in the permits and inspections, it's a sign that you should walk away. Also, if the builder has a history of disputes with previous buyers, such as lawsuits or unresolved complaints, it can be a sign of problematic practices. Conduct thorough research and consider consulting with a real estate attorney to review any legal concerns associated with the builder. Number six is lack of flexibility and communication issues. Effective communication is absolutely critical during the home building process. If the builder is unresponsive, vague, or unwilling to provide updates, 
it can indicate a lack of professionalism and transparency. Poor communication can lead to misunderstandings, unmet expectations, and delays. A builder who is inflexible regarding changes or upgrades to the home can be problematic. While some limitations are expected, a builder who refuses to accommodate reasonable requests or charges an exorbitant amount of fees for minor changes may not have your best interest in mind. Flexibility is key to ensuring that the home meets your needs and preferences. Also, if the builder is unwilling to negotiate on price, terms, or upgrades, depending on market conditions, it may be worth considering other options. A rigid stance on negotiation can indicate a lack of interest in customer satisfaction and may lead to less favorable deal for you. Market conditions, as I mentioned, also play a major role in how much flexibility a builder may have in this area. This is one significant reason why you hire a real estate advisor who is an expert in negotiations representing you and your best interests. The builder's sales rep surely will not be fighting to bring down any pricing. That's my job. Number seven is lack of transparency in pricing. Hidden costs are a common issue in new construction deals. Ensure that all potential costs are disclosed up front, including fees or upgrades, landscaping, and closing costs. If the builder is not forthcoming about these expenses, or if you discover additional costs other than the, at the signing of the contract, it may be best to walk away before going down a path that could lead to financial loss. If the pricing information provided by the builder is inconsistent or it's unclear, it can indicate potential issues with the deal. Transparent pricing is essential to ensure that you understand the total cost of your new home. It goes well beyond just the base price. Discrepancies in pricing information should be thoroughly investigated and can be a reason to reconsider the purchase all together. Be cautious of builders who offer promotions that seem too good to be true. Typically they are. While incentives like discounted upgrades or closing cost assistance can be legitimate, ensure they are clearly outlined in the contract and that there are no other hidden conditions. Misleading promotions can mask the true cost of the home and lead to financial surprises. This leads us to number eight, and what I think is the most important one, and that is location and development plans. The location of your new construction home is absolutely crucial to your long-term satisfaction and the resale value. If the home is in a location with poor access to amenities, high crime rates, or environmental concerns such as flood zones, you may want to reconsider even entering into a new contract altogether. A less than ideal location can affect the, your quality of life, and as I mentioned, the future value of the home. New construction homes in the Las Vegas Valley are often part, often part of larger developments or planned communities. If the development is incomplete or if there is uncertainty about the completion of the community amenities, you may be left with a home in a partially developed neighborhood, which can impact your lifestyle and again, the property value. Ensure that there is clear, realistic timeline for the community development. Also, be aware of future development plans for the surrounding area. Large scale projects such as new highways, commercial developments, or industrial facilities can significantly affect the desirability of your home. If there are plans for projects that could negatively impact the area, such as increased traffic or noise, it may be better to look elsewhere. Well, I think this gives you a good overview on whether you should consider walking away from a new construction home deal. While walking away is a difficult decision, sometimes it's the most prudent one to make. By carefully considering factors such as contract terms, the builder's reputation, construction quality, location, legal issues, communication, and transparency, you can make an informed decision that protects your interests. As you know, purchasing a home is a significant investment 
And it's always better to back out of a problematic deal when you can, rather than commit to a purchase that may lead to financial loss and dissatisfaction. Having a real estate agent in your corner will help you in all these areas if you hire the right one. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it informative. So please like and share it. Please subscribe below and comment if you have any questions or found this video helpful. Also, don't forget to check out our other videos on moving to Las Vegas and the surrounding areas so you can continue to get a realistic sense of what it would feel like to live here in the Las Vegas Valley. So whether you're moving in nine days or nine months, give us a call, shoot a text, send us an email, or even schedule a Zoom appointment here in the description below. We can't wait to help you make a smooth and stress-free move to Las Vegas. So until next time, we hope to show you around new construction communities very, very soon.